Hi, hello to my fellow Pokemon fans. Today, Pokemon Legends Z is out and you'll be able to play it into your PC. And if you want to know on how to do that, then this is the perfect video to chill for you to watch now. So first of all, what you need is that you will need to have a copy of all the files that I've highlighted here in my folder. So these are the Nintendo Switch firmware and the Nintendo Switch keys. Both should be in version 20 in order for it to play Pokemon Legends ZA and it should be in NSP or XEFL format and also you will need to install an emulator for it to run into your PC. But before you follow this video tutorial, I need you to agree that you have already purchased a legal copy of Pokemon Legends ZA. You purchase it, you got a physical copy of the game early because some store now have given the games, you can buy them early, or that you have pre-ordered the game and that you own the game legally. So once you own the game, then you can proceed in following this guy because we don't condone piracy here. We just want everyone to follow the step in the legal manner. So go to Google now let's get an emulator because it's better to play uh, Switch games in PC because it is better in performance than the first generation Nintendo Switch. So go to Google, just type in uh, Ryubing emulator and hit search. Then go to their official GitHub page, which is here. That is always the first result. Click on that. Then the next step is just go to latest builds. Go to, you can find a stable release here. Click on the here link then just look for the installer that you need to install so if you're from linux just click on this link and if you're from mac click on this link here but for those who are in windows just like me just click on the windows zip file here click on it download it now so since i have already have this file into my pc i'm just gonna skip on this part because i have already downloaded it already so i'm gonna open the folder where i have the downloaded file so open the zip file that you have downloaded click on it double click on it okay then click on the publish folder then create a folder that is named ryujinx or ubing emulator me i have named it ryujinx fork 2025 and to install the emulator just select all the files that is inside drag and drop them into this folder here that you have created but for me i have already uh installed ryujinx and fully optimized it so i'm just going to close in this so once you have copied the files and you have it into your folder that is named Ryujinx or Ubing, click on the Ryujinx application file because that is the emulator. You will need to run it now. So run it. And I'm going to assume that you have done it now. So open Ryujinx emulator. Your Ryujinx emulator will not look like mine. Mine has already, be, has already been uh, installed properly with the proper files that it's needed to put in because without these files, uh, Ryujinx will not be able to detect and play any Switch games. So what are these files? Uh, these files are the Nintendo Switch keys and the Nintendo Switch firmware. Both files should be in version 20 at least for it to detect and play Pokemon Legends ZA. Now, if you're asking me on how to get all of these files, the most legal way to do this is again, you own a Nintendo Switch console you have modded that switch and have installed a custom firmware in it because if it has a custom firmware that means that you can now fully access your nintendo switch system files once you have access on those system files all you have to do is just look for the keys and all of the firmware files and transfer them into your pc now to get the game there is no other way to do this again purchase the game legally own a physical copy and digitally back it up into an xei or an sb file format so if you don't know how to mod or install a custom firmware or back up your physical copy of your purchased game, then the next thing that you need to do is just scan this QR code here that I have put in the screen with your QR code, QR code reader. Scan it with your QR code reader into your phone and then you will be redirected to the page wherein you can get all of these three files. Just be sure that you follow the instruction in the site so that you can get all of these three files. So if you have downloaded this through your phone, be sure to transfer them into your PC now. And I'm just gonna assume that you have done it and that you have files. So let's install them in Rubing. Open Rubing. Then the next thing to do is just open the keys zip file. Open the keys folder here. Then open actions in Rubing. Install keys, install keys. Create a new folder This name keys, open that then drag and drop the product keys and tile keys 
into this folder here i'm gonna just replace it because i have already installed mine then click on the product keys and hit open hit yes hit okay go back to actions again install keys install keys title keys hit open hit yes hit okay then the next step is to install the firmware just go back to actions again install firmware install firmware from xrz file then locate the firmware file again it should be in version 20 0.5.0 hit open hit yes and it's now successfully installed the firmware version you will know that it's successful because right down here below it says firmware version 20.5.0 and also if you have such games into your system then it will detect them and show you their game icon so your UBM emulator will not look empty now and you will be able to play switch games on it now as you can see i have pokemon legend za it's in sp file format and it's in base game version because if you install the title update rubing will crash uh, when you start the game so i have not installed it yet so uh we need to optimize our rubing emulator first before we can properly play any switch games so to do this, just follow my steps here, okay? So go to options and go to settings. And in this part, just be sure to pause the video and copy every setting that you see here. Again, pause the video and copy every setting. Game directories is where you'll store your Switch games. It could be anywhere into your PC as long as it's in XEI or NSP file format. Then go to input tab. Use your controller when you play Switch games because it's better that way rather than the mouse and keyboard. So if you have an Xbox, PlayStation, or a PC controller, or better yet, you have a Nintendo Switch Pro controller, connect them here, map them up according to liking. But the dead zone for both left and right sticks, you should change that into point 20 so that it will fix the drifting issues into your controller if you're having one. Once done, go to CPU, I mean system, and be sure to check the FS integrity checks here. And the settings here, uh, you can change this to whatever region and language you like. Now go to CPU, uh, be sure to check PPTC. Once done here, go to graphics. So this is the most important setting, so be sure to copy everything here. So Vulkan is the graphics back and API. Uh, if you prefer GPU, you should have a dedicated graphics card. So I have a GT uh, RTX 470 Super. Um, at least if you have a GTX 1060, uh, you can play any Switch games with no issues at all. So I think you have much better graphics card than that. So you'll be able to play any Switch games. So in features and enhancement, be sure to check and enable shader crash and enable micro HLE. Resolution scale is subjective. You can change this to whatever you like as long as you have a powerful CPU and graphics card. But for those who are in the lower end, then just choose the native resolution here of the Switch. Now anti-aliasing, I have set it to max, but if you're having some issues, change this to none. Scaling filter is in FSR and it should be in 100%. But if you're having some issues, change this to bilinear. And isotropic filtering is in 16 times. If you're having some issues, change this to auto or two times aspect ratio 16 by 9 because that is my monitor aspect ratio. Now once done, go to audio. The settings here are real simple. So copy that and we're good to go. Hit apply and hit OK. And congratulations, your Ryujinx emulator is now fully capable of playing any Nintendo Switch games from the old and new Switch games, such as the Pokemon Legend CA. So, a little bit of a disclaimer, I won't be able to show you guys gameplay of this game because we all know how strict Nintendo is, and they hate this kind of uh, the Nintendo Switch emulation scene for the PC. They hate it, and if you show a gameplay of it, then your channel will be taken down, your videos will be taken down, the entirety of your channel will be gone in an instant if you show content like this so i hope you guys do understand on that part but i'm willing to show you some proof that this ritual is working that's why i will try to boot up pokemon legends za into the title screen of the game but i'm just gonna blur the screen from here and out so that nintendo will not be able to hit me with any of their copyright strikes and again guys please do understand that i can show you any gameplay but the game runs stable 30 fps without any mods installed in it or updates installed in it so you're good to go once you follow the steps that I've shown you here. So I'm going to stop the emulation. So if you have some questions regarding the installation process of Pokemon Legends ZA into your PC, then just leave a comment in the comment section below and I'll try my best to answer all of them as fast as I can. So if you find this video trail helpful, please do like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. That will help me out massively. Thank you for watching. See you next time and goodbye for now.